Hi, and welcome to Happy Fisherman Adventures. I hope, I dream, I wish to catch a big fish. And I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman. And I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman. Just down here at Hastings Marina with uh, Jason, the skipper of Pro Red, and obviously Breddy from uh, Rudy's Rigs, come down to do our second charter for the uh, Young Legends. The first charter we done about three weeks ago, and uh, it, it ended up being a really, really uh, good event. The kids were happy, the parents were so appreciative, it was, it was good. We were all a bit apprehensive before that first one, because we didn't know what to expect, but it actually it turned out to be a ripping day. And, uh, Perfect, yeah, didn't it? it was great. The kids caught some fish. It was tough conditions the last one. Today's perfect. Better conditions. We've got the perfect tide. Um, the weather's been kind to us. The rain's gone. No wind. Um, so we're going to go down and pick up the kids from the, uh, the ramp around the corner here. And we'll go out and um, hopefully they'll have a good day and we can... We can um, put some smiles on them. Yeah, put them, put them on the fish, mate. Good. And uh, it's low tide now, but it's like during the week when uh, I come out with Breddy. We were coming out on the low and we're fishing the first couple of hours of the run in on the edge of the spit and we're pretty confident that if we go to the same area we've got the burly pot, we've got really nice bait, we've got squid, we've got mussels, we've got pippies. We're pretty confident if we go there and Jason will anchor us up pretty good on the uh, on the drop off where we've got to be and we just hope that uh, we can get a good bite going so the kids can have a good day and enjoy themselves. Let's George has been good enough from Yummy Peaches to bring down eight Pizzas for all the uh, all the crew going out with us, and uh, yeah, the, the young blokes are in there and enjoying a nice lunch of pizza, Georgie, before they go out, mate. Yeah, gotta feed them. We're not in a hurry because we're here. it's low tide at the moment. We've got to wait for that tide to start running in, and uh, that's when we've been banging the fish. Got a couple of whiting here, just off the end of the jetty. Look at that. That's a good whiting. That's not a bad whiting. Yeah. Got a squid. Yeah. We've got two whiting. This is what we used to do when we were kids. Yeah, and he's got a squid just here. And that was on the run. Now the tide's running in. He might have a he might have a chance to actually get a few more. Fuck a few. Through that. Yeah, we're gonna have to have work this channel now. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Chris is the man behind the scenes that organises uh, which which kids and that are going to come out for the, the uh, charter. And uh, yeah, we were talking before Chris about the first one. We sort of didn't know what to expect. Yeah. But it was really rewarding with all the kids and the uh, parents yeah. being really appreciative, mate. Yeah. No, it was definitely a good charter. Um, and this one hopefully is going to be just as good. Um, I've got some things in the pipeline that hopefully are going to make that easier for the next couple of episodes, but we'll just see what happens. Yeah. Get some bait ready, Brady. Already got the squid ready. Tenderized, cut into squares. Just shelling a few mussels. So when we get out there, we've got bait ready to go. The sun was out, now we've got some clouds. Just leaving Hastings. Just got back to the marina with uh, Brady and Jace. We've dropped the crew off around at the uh, Hastings boat ramp around there. Another ripping day, had a great time, caught, caught some fish. Um, enjoyed the peaches that George brought down. Everyone loved the peaches, they were beautiful. Uh, and um, yeah, as I said, we had a really, really good day. The young blokes really enjoyed it. We had a couple of girls on board. Yeah, they had a good time as well. Jason put us onto a few good spots to get the fish. But uh, it's good that Brady's um, been able to organise these, this, this sort of thing to help out um, the kids and that. But uh, anyone who wants to jump on board, because to keep it going, you're going to need people to jump on board and help out with a bit of finance because um, obviously it doesn't pay for itself. So anyone who's interested in getting on board can contact Brady and uh, just hopefully we'll, we'll be able to keep it going in the future because it's worthwhile. Just to see the satisfaction and uh, the gratitude of the kids involved, it's very satisfying. So uh, once well, you... again, yeah. So Brady's got the uh, the 2024 snapper 
season um, jumpers. Jumpers, wind cheaters, they're grouse, I've got one, and 45, they're 97 bucks, which you'll probably think, oh, that's a bit steep. The $45 of that goes straight to providing uh, for the charters. Yeah. So anyone who wants to jump on board, go and get a, get go and get yourself a wind cheater. But yeah, once again, very, very good day, just to see the, the satisfaction and the gratitude from uh, the kids and their parents, it's well worth being involved in. Well, g'day guys, it's uh, Friday afternoon and I've just picked up the young fellas behind us. Hi! There's Fletcher and Sonny and we've got Zach with us today. A bit of cooking, camping, we don't really know what we're going to go fishing for, we're just going to sort of wing it and yeah, enough gas bag and I guess we'll get on the road now. <laughs> My tent. Swag. We've got an awning. The car's there. Let's test that. It's not cooked out of what I just put it on. Do you like onion? Mm. I don't know what I can. Is it spicy? Nah. We're a bit disappointed because I'm worried when we come in the other day we had it all to ourselves and, and now it's packed out and it's not really like camping, it's like party zone. Zucky's down there in the swag. I'm gonna come around here. You put your lettuce on it, mate. Yeah. This is where we're cooking. Any sauce? Hamburger. Hold it up. Is it nice? You, yeah. haven't, you haven't had any yet. Oh, yes, you have. What's this, Zach? Mac, Big Mac sauce, ready? Is it? Do you? Yeah. It tastes like a Big Mac. All right. So today, obviously now we've got a high tide, as you can see over behind me. And uh, later on we'll go out into the estuary, take the kids out. We're gonna pump some bass shabbies and go have, have a bit of fun. But as this tide's come in, I've just realized this would be a wild spot to cast lures for flatties. And on my back, I've got my drone. I haven't got a rod, because I didn't really think about this but I might put the drone up and have a look in the shallow see if I can see some flatties or something and you could probably walk along there and cast lures around not sure never done it but it'd be interesting around that corner old mates having a bit of a kayak up there and uh, yeah I reckon we go wake the boys up I was gonna cook them bacon and eggs but I just want to go fishing Put all the rods up. Do you hop in, bull? Put your life jacket on. Hang on, Fletch. Maps updated, sounder. Channels here change all the time. I just spoke to those guys in the bass straight, they're going offshore. You know, they said it'll probably be a bit rough. So I'm not gonna take the kids out there. And we're just gonna head up the system because it's high tide. Any bites, sub? No. So we've got a bit of a whiting bite going on. I don't know. No. Yeah, so years ago, I used to fish the last of the run out. There's a big weed bank. There used to be a big weed bank all along this edge. And as the last part of the tide, they come off all this all this bank here. If we're not really fishing probably because we're kids, but. You're a great fisherman. 
Yeah. But this is where I used to get them. Have you had a bite yet, Sog? Uh, yeah, let him come. Like this, Sonny, what's this? See, he just had a good bite, but not really. See that? Just wait. See, you just wait, Sonny. Sometimes just go like this. And that sometimes stirs him up to hit it. See? Oh, yeah, see? You get another bite, Sonny, or did he get your bait? Wanted him. How you going, Ball? Good. Good stuff. So we're just using a Ting and Oster. Zach's got one. Is that a whiting? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice whiting. There we yeah. go. Beautiful little whiting. Oh, he's got it. Soggy! That's a good one. All right, nice and easy. You know what you're doing? Good striking on the Ting and Oster there, brother. I'm gonna put your finger under yes. here like that. They have he can't no get you. Finger, don't right. push him out. There, that's beautiful. They yeah. Don't just drop him, hold him by his thing. Oh, he's... <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right, he's right. Can't yeah, there he goes. He's gone, he's gone. Is that a whiting? I, don't know. I reckon it is. Yeah. It's a nice I'm thing. That one. Uh, I'm can you claim it, Fletcher? Yes! <laughs> Hello, Fletchy. Fletchy! Good yeah. work! <laughs> there you go. Look at that. We've got a good bite going on. Hey, well done, bully. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to bully you. I'm going to bully you. <laughs> I'm gonna oh! Bully. you got a big mullet, Fletchy. Good boy. That's good for him. Hold him up. There you go, you caught your first whiting. I think that's your first ever whiting. Hey, can we keep it? Yeah. Well done, little Fletch. Oh, is, a, oh, is that a whiting? Yeah, that one is. Little salmon. Is that chayla? Yay! Oh, that's a little wawa. Oh, I'm hot. It's a little I'm salmon. Hot. Samson. Yay! Uh, are they finicky, Zach? No. No. But if I reckon if we were here an hour ago and me and Zach were fishing, we'd probably have 20 or, 20 or 30 because they some bait on. You reckon we'd get 40? Yeah, they're there. Yeah, they're there. Zach on. reckons we'd get 40. A nice one before. And we're just using pippies at the moment. What you hooked into there, big bull? Oh, oh, look at the size of this one. No, it's it's a big dinghy. That's that big bull. Look at him, look at him, he's on it. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna attack it. He had it in his mouth. So there's a big, big, um, was he on it then? No. There's a massive pike. Probably a metre long. And he's following this flatty. Massive, that pike. I think he's gone. Right, he'll be down. Titan was just pulled up to the bank. The boys have got the bass shabby pump. And we'll go get some whiting bait. I think up there's a bit better. All right, let's go. There's a bully. Leave him. Look at how fast they are. Cut, cut. Come up on this muddy, where there's a bit more muddy. I just parked here so we... hard not to pump when you can see. Oh, oh look. There's one, there's one. That's a good one. Yes. Two. Two, there's one there. Three, four, five. Oh, look at all these. Get around them. There's one there, Fletch. Fletch, you got to get on it, mate. Get, get on, on it. Fletch. Get on it, ball. Get on it. <laughs> hey, you and your jocks. <laughs> See how his claw come off, son? Try not to. Oh, you. Show the camera. Grab him. Hold him up. 
There he is. He ah! <laughs> hey, beat ya! <laughs> he got ya, did he? <laughs> oh, that was one! What's that? Hey, do it more! Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it False. might be, because I saw orange on it. Beat ya! Is that one? I think they all have parties, eh? This is what was happening yeah. last night. You just have to wear those holes, lots of holes on those neighbours and stuff. I might have some parties. Boys, we got to do sun cream. Bring it out here, I need it too. All right. These bass yabbies are really good. Probably the best, one of the best but whiting baits. They are hard work, but the kids, you can see how much these kids are enjoying pumping bass yabbies and you get free bait. Take the crab out after. Do you want to have a pump so when we get in the showers? Right, put it down. Don't lift it up, you just lost the yabby. It's alright. <laughs> Ah, what was that? That's the shit. There's one. <laughs> His mate's filming him. You can see the boys out there working hard, pumping bass shabbies. Many years ago, I used to catch salmon whiting from this bank and I'm gonna intentionally bank ourselves here. We'll be stuck here for about, I don't know, two and a half, three hours. Stuff coming right at the, right at low tide or just as it starts running in. Cause if you come in before low tide, the tide will go out and your boat can get stuck. I don't know, it's a good little, uh, place to come and just muck around with your kids. Whatever they catch, they catch, and who cares? Here he is, Bradus. What are you doing, jockeys? <laughs> you <going> bull. <laughs> Good? It's actually. It's warm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he got bitten by a little bassy. He got bitten. Little bassy. <laughs> intentionally beached ourselves so we can just fish land base and the boys are just casting out we'll probably be here for another hour and then the tide will be up here but you get a few whiting what do you got there brother jellyfish the boys have uh, probably catch some whiting hopefully yep bull's got one oh yes got one Go, bull. Keep your winding up. Remember what I told you. Can you? Are you still holding my winding up? Yep. Got it. Keep winding. Hang on. Just quiet, 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 quiet. Let me just sit. Keep him down. Keep it's winding. Right, it's all right. It's all right, brother. Still on. <laughs> he's still on. You can feel him, can you, brother? Yeah, I can feel him. Oh, he's, got, he's doing a lefty. Fletcher, you're gonna have to pull him out here. It's a tingy. Look at how deep he's going. Oh, it's a tinger. Uh, it's, oh, a it's a little sooter. It's a sooty. It's already baked. Now we just do this. <laughs> yeah, hold him up. That's not what we want. We want whiting, but show, you, show the camera. We'll use him for bait. Is he? He'd be twenty centimeters, eh? Yeah. Show the camera for Show the camera. Guy, or you trying to do the hook? Are you? We got a bass yabby <laughs> through the top and just thread it through. <laughs> On the hook like so. Then through his head, it's a bit harder. There's probably a better way to do it, but this is how we're rolling today. There you go. So we'll go cast that out and get a whiting. Yep. 
and you don't have to cast out too far because the, the whiting actually yeah, will be come out. they'll be coming up the bank. Doggy, you when I take my kids fishing, I always make them use mono because braids too tangles up too much. The bass you have is they'll bite a lot harder. Even if they're buying finicky, wouldn't it be? Yeah, because they, they got to kill the bass you have, so they, they, it'll feel like you're getting a massive bite, and they get a bit squeamish with the bass you have, I reckon, like that. Do they have good bites? No, what? No, what? Ready, Fletcher, watch how quick it takes. There's, there's a claw in there. I'll tell you as soon as I get a bite. Is it? Yeah. They just cut. Oh! See, oh, man? I got the whole thing on camera. Please. I was on the whole time. Yeah. Well, where'd this one go? <laughs> say it. What do you say? Yee ha, yee. Whoa, bully! Oh, the tingy kid. Well, oh. Ready? Tinga! What you got there, the bully? Head. Yeah, let that bully go. We just want this one. Can I let him go? No, not this one. We want to keep that one. Oh. You didn't you learn your lesson, Fletcher? There we go. That's what you just called, brother. Yeah. I throw him in the box. Yee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. <laughs> we'll, just get, we'll just hammer in the tinger on the bass yabby of all colours. <laughs> He'll blow it. He'll blow it, Fletcher. No, no. He'll blow it. It's a tinger. Oh. Yes. Come on, Sally, let him go. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> we just had our new campsite. This is what we've got. Not a bad little spot. Out there is Western Port. And we're probably going to go fish Western Port or offshore tomorrow just to see what the weather does. It's cost me 99 bucks. And I think that was. I think the tent was like not much either. And it's a good little setup and just bangs up quick. Zach's got his swag here. You've got the pier, the lights of the pier, and there's a lot of people down there fishing. You've got Soggy here. Zach's cooking a bit of a feed. I'll give you a look. Some chops, some skewers. And we're just sit, sitting here talking, and just before um, an hour, what is it called, Zach? A thorny frog wheel. A corny frog mouth yeah. come flying past, and I've got a I've got a microphone with a wind thing on it. It looks like a mouse on top of my camera, and he flew straight past me head. He must have thought it was a mouse. Mark and Mark's going to drop us in this morning, so the boys are ready. Fired up. Is this fun? Yeah. I'm, I think I never did this before. Well, we had a, instead of making you watch us catch a couple of gummies and some pinkies and some small salmon, I'm not gonna put this as a video. I'm just gonna end it here. I just wanna say thanks to everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Special shout out to my missus. Thanks, babe, I love you for letting me do what I do. Stay awesome, guys, and I'll see you out there. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks to the guys that purchased our t-shirt, guys that donated on our website. And yeah, we really appreciate it. And once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time. I hope, I dream, I wish to catch a big fish and I do it Fisherman, and I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman.